Rick and Duncan are back from Peoria. Allie and Stone are now there, leaving Matt, Mike, and Danielle to help with a 17-game prep playoff lift. Quickly, recite your uh, high school alums. Matt. Proud member of the West Hills Wolfpack. Danica. Helix Islanders. Michael Milburn. Lacoste Canyon Mavericks. All right, are you ready? Aye, aye, oh, captain, my captain. All right, we'll start with the Open Division quarterfinals. Five seed Mount Miguel visiting four seed Torrey Pines. And a little basketball action. Mount Miguel's Des Destiny Anderson puts in two over 16. But Torrey Pines has a gal by the name of Sierra Capisano. And she puts in 31 as the Falcons get the win. The final 65-58. Torrey Pines gets the winner of this one. Milbert! That's right, Paul. Another open division matchup. The Q-Dogs facing off against La Jolla Country Day. This is Sarah's Layla Jackson going high off the glass. The freshman would finish with 11 points, but the Lady Tories running the fast break to perfection with Kiara Oakry finishing right there for the easy two. La Jolla Country Day wins 62-45. They will host Tory Pines on Wednesday. We head to Grizzly Pavilion, open division quarterfinals featuring Mission Hills and Westview. Grizzly guard Emily Nunez hits from behind the arc for three of her 17 on the night. In the second half, it was Kayla Rooks doing the damage in the paint for 24 points. Grizzlies win it big. The final 94-58. Lady Grizzlies get the winner of this one, Matt. All right, more open division. Poway at Bishops. Lady Knight Destiny Littleton is going to get the steal and then put in the bucket for a game high 32 for her. And then her teammate Alessandra Aguirre sets a CIF record for threes in a season. 135 on the year for her. Bishops wins it 78-40. Mr. Rudy. All right, moving to D1 quarter, Santa Fe Christian making the trip to East Lake. Eagles are led by sophomore captain Emma Dudley and her baby hook in the first quarter. But the Titans get defense like this block by Ma Maya Robinson. Watch that stuff. Uh, this one easily, East Lake 69-39. They get the winner of this one, Milburn! Fourth seed, Modern Day, hosting the five seed, Horizon Christian. The Panthers, Stanford-bound Dejanay Carrington. She'll get the bucket and the foul while leading all scorers in this one with 29 points. Crusaders, though, led by Joyce Beta's 18, which includes that nice fake out on Carrington. Horizon, though, they're just too much in this one as they go on to win 56-46. Danielle. D3 matchup, Hilltop hosting Valley Center. Coach Ginger looking for crew in 572. First play, Hilltop's Brittany Gaffari finds her sister Brianna for an easy basket. Then it's Aslan Arias with the steal and the layup, leading the Lancers to the win. Congrats, Coach. The final 59-31 Hilltop. They face Lincoln on Tuesday. A D4 playoff battle, one seed Grossmont hosting High Tech High of North County. First quarter, Grossmont, Simone Griffith gets the steal and finds Emily Barnes for the layup. Then third quarter, Taisha Silas is going to pull up and hit her fourth three-pointer of the night, a game-high 27 for her. Grossmont wins it 66-42. Papa Pig. Gee, that should be worth four points. Uh, to the pitch now, D1 soccer, top rank Del Norte hosts the eighth seed in San Marcos, tied at one. Del Norte freshman Megan Donovan scores the go-ahead goal. The Nighthawk senior Dory Mall scores to extend the lead to 3-1. Del Norte advances to the D1 semifinals on Tuesday where they get the winner of this one, Milburn. That's right, more Division I quarterfinal action. Poway taking on the fourth seed Westview. What we have here is a defensive battle. This is Westview keeper Jordan White with the save. Poway keeper Brendan Siever. Well, she'll stop this one right there as well. We go 0-0 into overtime, and that's where Poway's Amanda Zemper puts it away on the final penalty kick. Poway gets the 1-0 win. Miss Norman. We head to the coast. La Jolla facing Point Loma. Pointers were scoreless into the second half. Point Loma's Jordan Patanye finds Abigail Bates, who heads home this goal. Point Loma keeper Taylor Washington denying the La Jolla, La, La Jolla corner kick. Pointers get the win. The final 1-0, they move on to play Scripps Ranch in the semis. Moving to Division 2, UC making the trip to Oceanside. Less than five minutes left in this game. Abby Ramirez finds Taylor Brust at the back post. She slots it home to tie it at one. Just moments later, though, in stoppage time, Aaron Gillum sneaks it by the goalie. The Centurions win it 2-1. They face West Hills in the semis. Lead on, oh, fearless leader. All right, the Mira Mason Marauders visiting top seed Olympian in another D3 quarterfinal. First half, Olympian Alicia Tapia using her head to score the goal. Eagles up 1-0. Then it's Cheyenne Swift with a long shot over the keeper. Eagles take this one 3-1. Olympian goes on to face the winner, 
of this one, Milburn. That's right. We head out east for a D3 matchup. El Cap facing off against Helix High. Just a few minutes in, the Vaqueros' Samantha McKenna fights off three defenders to put a hard shot into the corner. Gives El Cap the one nothing lead. Just two minutes left in regulation. Helix's dominant Banks finds Devin Molina as she goes over the goalkeeper's head. That makes it 3-2. Helix goes on to win 4-2. I know who liked that one. That'd be Danielle. <laughs> Next up, Chula Vista taking on the girls of Our Lady of Peace. OLP's Ashlyn Healy with a laser goal to put the Pilots up 1-0. But Chula Vista would counter Alana Perez with a big boot here as the Spartans would go on to win it. The final 3-1. They go on to play the winner of this one, Gilson. Mission Vista hosting Valley Center. Watch the coin toss. Aaron Rodgers would not be happy about that one. Second half, Mission Vista's Miranda Hall corner kick to Shayla Cottrell, and she gets it into the goal to win it. The final 1-0 Mission Vista. Paul, take us home. All right, last but not least, Division Four Fallbrook taking on Castle Park. First half, Castle Park's Veronica Vasquez blocks the corner kick. The shot of Fallbrook's Audrey Peterson goes off the post to Jocelyn Urbina, who puts it away to give the Warriors a 1-0 lead. And then in the second half, Fallbrook's Karina Bulli gets a goal of her own as the Warriors go on to win it by a 2-0 margin.